Hi, I'm Hannah and this is Rachel and we're Low Profile and we're going to be talking about local. So local is a limited edition badge work that we made in 2017 and was distributed and sold through a specially recruited network of artists who are local to Plymouth. So we ended up making a hundred of these badges that were yellow name badges with the word local engraved on them. We were thinking about local in the run up to this large uh, multi-site exhibition that was happening in Plymouth called We The People Are The Work. And um, that was going to launch at the same time as the Plymouth Art Weekender, which by 2017 had become a bit of a fixture in like Plymouth's annual calendar. Yeah, and we were interested in using um, the mechanism of the Art Weekender and also this large exhibition that was happening across multiple venues as the context for this work existing. And so the way it worked was that we had this group of artists that we'd recruited to be badge sellers for us. And I think most of them were also showing their own work throughout the weekender. So that's a kind of like three day event essentially that happens across Plymouth. And we wanted to kind of work with them to in a mutually beneficial way where they would sell these badges for us we set up a kind of 50-50 profit split with them and that we would kind of be pointing our audiences to, to them to get the badges, but they would also be pointing their audiences back to us and to kind of our project and the, what we were making. And we were really like intrigued by whether we could create some of this kind of mutual benefit and this mutual exchange. Um, between us and this group of artists who are our peers and our friends and people whose work we like and enjoy. So for like over the whole time that we've worked as artists, we've always been keen to like recommend and advocate for other artists' work. And we've really benefited when other artists advocate and recommend our work too. So we thought that, that maybe this would be like a kind of playful way to do that and to bring um, maybe a little bit more focus onto that type of activity as well. Yeah, and I think we wanted to make something that was quite like touch, that was quite straightforward and easy for us to do, that we didn't need to kind of seek permission for and that we could self-fund as well. I think we'd been thinking about uh, this word local and how it's used as a way to label or frame um, different people's relationship to places and also how it comes with a little bit of a value judgment at different times, especially when it's applied to artists. So the idea of like a local artist is used um, in art circles, I guess, maybe sometimes in quite a derogatory way. But we were intrigued about actually, how do we celebrate that instead of that becoming a, a negative? How do we celebrate artists' relationship to a place and their decisions to be in that place and remain in that place and like have their practice there? Yeah, and that, you know, was quite straightforward and simple for people to, to do. It wasn't kind of creating a, a load of extra work for them. They just had to tell their audiences where they were going to be or where their exhibition was during the weekend and to encourage them to come and get one of these like kind of limited badge works. And it really did set up a situation where audiences or people would then go and track them down. So they would make a special effort to go and see their exhibition or their work or to find them so that they could get a badge. But in the process of doing that, would then also get to meet that person and to find out about their work and see their work. Yeah, it became like a kind of hot property, didn't it? And we were interested, I guess, also in that sense of it, of like tapping into those ideas of how things become attractive or exciting or how they go viral, like how you can create this sense of urgency around an object like a badge, you know, like something that's very simple and straightforward. Yeah, because there was this big opening event on the Friday on the Friday night for this exhibition that was happening in the city, 
quite quickly we could see people wearing these badges and a lot of them being sold on that opening event actually and suddenly you've got over a hundred people maybe like walking around the city all wearing these local badges and kind of identifying as part of this group. Yeah and and it also like I guess it taps into those ideas like around a scene or trying to create like a sense of community between creative people or people who are interested in like creative stuff and are often thinking about how that works for this place that we live in for this city Plymouth. Um, and so, yeah, I guess it was like for that moment in time, you're creating a little scene and people are identifying as part of this scene and this kind of community by wearing these badges. I think this idea of setting up an alternative system of economy and ecology through the process of making and selling the badge and that one that has kind of generosity rooted within it was really important to us. I think making something again that was quite light touch um, that we could do on our own terms. So we funded the project, um, and, but then we were able to recoup those costs through the selling of the badges. And in fact, I think we could probably could have made another hundred. But I think really importantly for us, there was this kind of, we wanted to have a conversation around what, it, what this word local means and what it means to take on the word or the name local and to wear it and to, to spark some conversation around that. I can remember us talking a lot about kind of these moments where we would decide to wear this badge local and, you know, by wearing it and whilst we were in Plymouth, you know, does, was that then factually correct? Was it correct at that moment that we were in fact a local? Because technically that's not really true because neither of us were born here. And, you know, what does it take for you to be a local or to be legitimised as being local to a place? Does that have to be through birth? Does it have to be that you have to have lived in a place for a long period of time? Or does that, can that be through your commitment to a place? Or, you know, and that might just be through deciding to be there for a period of time. So I think we were kind of trying to talk about that stuff and that it's really complex actually, it's not straightforward. Um, whilst also recognising that for people, you know, Plymouth's a changing city and, you know, of, of course, all cities are changing. They're not fixed. So the idea of being local can't be fixed either. Um, and we were wanted to kind of point towards the idea of community and being local being a more porous thing, perhaps, and something which is forever changing. We'd used that type of name badge format before in a piece of work called Loyal that we made for the Hunt and Darton Cafe. And we're really interested in what happens when people are wearing this kind of like a quality um, as a name badge. And I think that we were also interested in testing out, again, what it means to make a work that is worn by people and that, that perhaps conversations that happen around the work happen because of people wearing them. So the work travels by being worn, it's seen by being worn, and we can't control or wouldn't want to kind of control um, what those conversations exactly. are or where they end up or, or how and when they happen. And I guess, yeah, that's part of this like strategy that we use all the way through our work, which is about how can it become part of people's daily life and daily conversation. I think this stuff around like challenging the idea that culture comes from somewhere else uh, rather than it being built by the people who are in that place and, and of that place in different ways. Um, and I guess for us, like local is a, is a really nice way to draw attention to that and draw attention not just through the badge itself, but also by this like mechanism of how the work is distributed. The thing that it has to go hand to hand, it's through word of mouth, um, that you are, you are meeting an artist as part of this transaction is really kind of important to us. And I guess that also like reflects that interest that we have in what are those actions that individuals can take or make in the world to change things in some way. So that strength of 
word of mouth leading to action of a particular kind. And I think as well for like people who were buying the badges, there was like a sense of treasure hunt, of trying to track down information about where people might be and how to find them. There was definitely a bit of like conversation going on over social media uh, between different people who were like, where are you going to be at three o'clock? How can I find how can I find this thing? How can I get in touch with that person? And that was a really nice um, sense that it had become something important for people's weekend. I think in some ways it did inform um, the Project Jamboree that we made um, in 2018, the large scale version of Jamboree, in terms of thinking about how people can both be the kind of participants of something and you know, directly involved in making something happen and how through a kind of project you can create, I don't know, flatten hierarchy somehow and um, promote people equally or include people equally in something. And I think it also probably informed the way that we worked on drum roll in 2020 and how we distributed that. So that thing of like getting different arts organisations to kind of sign up to help distribute an artwork that we were making independently. So that kind of mix between like artists leading, but also being uh, supported by the sector, you know, by the art sector. Yeah, because ultimately both of those projects understand that our voice is only ever going to be so loud and our network is only going to reach so far. And so setting up these setting up these kind of mutually beneficial situations, whether or not that's through a network of artists or through us working with a network of organisations to kind of amplify our voice is like hugely beneficial to us, but also hopefully beneficial to them.